Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me today. Let's jump right into our video and see what we can create. So I'm going to be working on this 10 by 20 canvas and I want to do a gust pour. And I've got my colors all mixed up here with some flow draw. I did not use any water in any of these. Um, I think they are thin enough without it. And the colors I'm going to be using is this Deco Art Extreme Sheen, and this is in pearl. And I mixed uh, this macro pearl from Pearlex in with that to give it just a little bit more of a boost of the shimmer and that is going to be my base color and then I have this deco art metallic silver it's not the extreme sheen but I think it still will work out really good oh, wait a minute I got a got a something in there from the uh, flow trawl you know those little slimy looking things get that out <laughs> uh, I didn't strain this one and that's what happens when you don't strain it I strained all the rest of them but this one I didn't so I only had a little bit in the bottle and I actually put the flow trawl in the bottle and mixed it up so I'm also going to be using the deco art extreme sheen 24 karat gold I love this gold it is my favorite. I use it in acrylic pores, I use it in resin, I use it as just straight acrylic painting. I love it. And then I decided that I would use the Folk Art Color Shift Black Flash. I wasn't going to add any black. Um, I didn't want to take over the painting, so I'm going to use this very, very sparingly. And I like the black flash because it has the gold shimmer in it. So I will start off by doing our base with the pearl. And I'm going to just take my hand and smooth it out to the edges. And then once I get all the edges covered, then I'll tilt it and get a nice smooth surface. And so we got that done and I'm measuring the sides to find my center because I will not be able to, to pour a straight line without a guide of some kind. So I'm going to start with the silver and I'm going to follow up with that with the gold and then just a tiny line of the black and I'm using um, paper cups because I can control by pinching it how much actually comes out and I followed the black up with a little bit of the pearl and I don't like that I don't have a whole lot of gold coming through that swipe so I'm going to add another little bit of gold and I am using uh, little strips of parchment paper as my swipe material and I am purposely uh, shaking the line as I pull it down and trying to get different lengths and different shapes you know it all is going to be swiped down but uh, I don't want it to, each one to look the same and I'm really glad that I did add just that teeny tiny bit of black because it is adding a really nice quality to the painting I think and then I took a smaller piece of the parchment paper and now I'm swiping uh, little streams in between the larger swipes just so that I can get a different look all over the canvas. And now I'm going to flip around and do the other side. And if you're, when you're swiping, if you're using parchment paper, you'll notice that sometimes it starts to curl or 
when, and I'm, I'm wiping off the edge of it in between each swipe. Um, but you'll notice that it starts to curl or it's not laying flat enough for you to pull uh, colors down. If you just trim the very end of it off where it, it's uh, gotten damp from the paint and that's what causes it to curl, then um, you can just keep right on going with your swiping. And I love how I don't have the black in every one of the swipes. I think that's really cool. Um, my camera quit because my memory was full, so I had to um, delete some of the stuff on there, and you missed part of doing the smaller swipes on this side. But we're almost done with it now. And I think you basically get the idea <laughs> that you just swipe it down. So I'm uh, wiping off the undersides of my canvas. Um, still, the base, pearl base, was still flowing over the edge and pulling my design. That's why it was kind of ziggly there for a little bit. Um, but I think it's back straight. And this is how it's looking now. It's not completely dried yet. Um, in the very center, you can still see that wet sheen of the paint where it isn't quite dry. But this has turned out gorgeous. I love it. You can see all the cells going on in there. And the gold is just shining. I love this gold. If you use too much, it will take over your painting. But um, for this purpose right here, it was perfect. And you can see the uh, pearl color shimmering there and um, just that hint of black. And you can see uh, the swipes of silver. I love it. And now my mind is going 100 miles in different directions, uh, thinking, okay, I can embellish this and make it even better. <laughs> so I am going to put resin on this. I think this is just one that qualifies for that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please click like and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so and ring that bell. You'll get notified when I upload future videos. And uh, I'll have the description of everything I use below in the description box. If you have any comments, questions, leave them. I love your feedback. And I want to thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Escapade. Bye-bye for now.